So our theorem is that the projections of the foot of the altitude um, on a side of a triangle upon the other two sides and the other two altitudes are collinear. So we start with a triangle. This is sort of a general triangle. And um, I'll constrain the length of the sides so that I let GX web know um, what I want to use as my variables um, to define the triangle. I now need to put in the, I'm going to be talking about the feet of the altitudes. So I need these altitudes to be in there. Um, the simple way is like this. Altitude. 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 Now, we're only really going to be talking about, well, these aren't really the central parts of what we're, we're doing. Um, so I'd like to kind of de-emphasize these altitudes. And I can do that by changing their color. Um, I've selected the three of them. If I hold down for a long press, I get this uh, pick up money menu. I can uh, hide them or I can select the color, uh, make them gray. Uh, de-emphasizes them a bit. Now, what I need to do is I need to take the foot um, of this altitude now to project it onto these four lines, and I'm going to show that they uh, um, are collinear. Those point, those projections. So, to project it, I do the same. I do the same. It's the same uh, uh, approach. Project it onto the two sides that way. The triangle and project it onto the two altitudes um, this way. And now my theorem that I want to prove is that those four uh, points are collinear. So I will draw the line here from G to H. Let me just change that color too. Is the color purple. Okay, so how do I show the collinear? Well, I need to go to my symbolic panel here, and I would like to uh, ask for the distance between J and the line GH. That comes out. As symbolic with zero, and it would be no surprise um, if we ask for the distance between I and G H. That also comes out to be zero. Uh, 